Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So, yeah. Today guys I'll be showing you how to code your very own Discord bot with two new commands. We have the echo command, which can also be used as the say command of course. Slap a say in right there. And we have a clear command that clears the amount of messages that you want from the channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, so I know that that was a really cringy I intro, but like, I don't have anything else to say. Alright, starting out with the say command. <laughs> right here, in the last video, we made this const msg equals args.join. And if you remember, args.join is this message.content.slice prefix out length. What this does, it slices away the prefix dot length, which is just the prefix. And then it trims all the white space off, and then it splits it with this, this, with this, um, rejects. This, what that does, it actually just converts to this. This does this, and it's a string with a space. So this basically takes every single, like, word, and then if it has a space, if the word has a space after it, then it will count that as the next argument args all right this msg args.join so it takes all of those into a message so for example if i do prefix say hello and hi it'll take this and join them together and then it returns that so that's basically all that the say command is we'll be doing just a little bit extra to make it look make it function a little bit better all right so now the basic thing is we're just going to type message dot channel dot send so now and also i have created the else if command equals say i've just created this basic layout right right, right now all right message dot channel dot send and then we're going to do msg boom so now what this does is once again up here it it shows if we do say hello the bot will return hello if we do say hi, hello and hi the bot will return hello and hi so yeah it's pretty simple it may be a little bit hard at first but yeah the basic idea is pretty simple so now we literally wrote one line of code. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, okay, let's make this thing a little bit more better. A little bit better. Jeez, what was that grammar? All right, we're going to do an if statement. We're going to type if. Then we're going to do this, which is the exclamation mark, msg. So what that means is, so the msg is, of course, everything after. So this is testing for if there's if there is a message however there is an exclamation mark right before it which basically reverses it so what this ends up doing is this is testing if there's not a mess an msg so if we just type say without anything after it so and then we can now there's two different ways to go i'm just going to do the simpler way I'll actually, no, I'll do both ways. The first way is we're going to type the brackets and then enter so that it opens it up. <clears throat> and then type message.channel.send, of course, and then we're just going to send you didn't tell me what to repeat. that little x again all right semicolon all right i forgot the semicolon down here all right so let's just test this out really quickly so we're just gonna save this open up the terminal then of course we're just gonna go like node dot bot is ready we're gonna go over here to youtube bot and of course it is online this is also a new bot that i've made i've been testing with it 
this is my Discord server. All right, YouTube bot. Here it is. So the prefix is the, of course, um, <laughs> question mark. So we're gonna do say, and boom. So as you can see, I didn't say, <clears throat> I didn't put any um, arguments after. So it just says you didn't tell me what to repeat with that little X emoji. And then if we do say hello, as you can see, it'll say hello. Say hello and hi. Boom. So yeah, as you can see, pretty simple, just a li literally two lines of code to make this. So anyway, let's go on to the clear command. All right, I'm here with the clear command. Sorry, it's got a test. <laughs> so this one is a little bit more tricky. This is going to feature a couple of things that we haven't seen before, but it's all right. I'll explain. I'll explain it as as good as I can. So we're going to start off by doing let amount. This is going to be the amount of messages that we delete. Then this is going to equal the value of amount is going to be. So here's the new keyword. We're going to be type well not a keyword actually. It's just the new function. Parse int. Don't forget the capital I. Parse int and then of course those <laughs> parentheses and semicolon. So what does parse int do? Essentially, it takes something, whatever you put in, and then reads it as a number. So if we type 9, it'll read that as just the number 9 instead of the string 9. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So in the parsent, it will be putting in args 0, which of course, if you remember, the array, the args is an array, and we will be putting <coughs> the cough, the args. So args 0 is essentially because all of the arguments gets put inside of an array. So like say we do just I don't know, test hello and hi. This is going to be hello and hi. That's what it is. So the arg zero, because the zero in an array is actually the number first spot, the, <laughs> the number one spot. So if we would do args one, it would take the second spot. So we are going to just put in zero, so it takes the first spot. Then it's going to take this and parse this as an integer or a number. So if we were to do like clear five or something, this would mean it would give us the string five. However, <laughs> the amount, so then amount of that. So then the amount would be equal to just the number five instead of the string five, because all of the second, because all of the other arguments are counted as strings. All right, so we have this, and then we'll be doing another new um, function. So we're gonna type if, and then we're gonna do is nan. <laughs> yeah, funny, right? Lol. Okay, so what is nan means is if is not n means not a means a num at the second n means number so if is not a number and then you're gonna open this up well, not open it up just kind of just put the parentheses <laughs> put no we don't we actually no that's not good that's not a good idea do not um put the semicolon after this and then in here we're going to put amount that's why we clicked parseInt, because it reads this as a number. It reads the arg0, the first argument, as a number. And so we can do this function on it, which is is not a number, <laughs> literally. So if the amount, so we could read it like if the args, okay, so if the first argument is not a number, we can return the message.channel.send. We will be sending you didn't specify a real number. All right. And then let me just make this look a little bit nicer. 
Okay, so now what we'll be doing is a new um, function on the message on the channel. On the channel, um, is it a? I think it's an object. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Message dot. Oh no no it's a property. Never mind. Message dot channel dot bulk delete. If you have VS Code or any like text editor that has, well I don't actually know if anything else really has it. Really has IntelliSense, but like message dot channel dot bulk and then capital D delete and then parentheses semicolon. We will be and then inside these parentheses, as you can see right here, messages is a number so it tells us how many messages do we want to delete and we put it as a number so we take the amount which is the um which is the first argument that it reads as a number so we can throw it in here so amount boom and just like that that is how to delete some messages based on whatever the first argument is so if we were to type clear five it would uh, clear five messages so actually no I feel like this would be better yeah the asterisks just look weird it would clear five messages from the channel I forgot from the channel all right so and then also just really quickly let's just put um, if if there is no args zero, so just like if there's no args zero, we're gonna return message dot dot channel dot send. You didn't specify a number. No spaces, and then after that space amount. So this means if amount is greater than a hundred or amount is less than two. Now we can just put, mm -hmm. yeah, two is fine. Then we're gonna return message dot channel dot send that number is either too big or too small. Throw in that little X again, boom. All right, and then message dot channel dot book delete amount, and boom. So just save this. Control C, no dot. Head into this and okay. <laughs> Hello and hi. Okay, so just test the say is working. Okay, and then ping. I usually always use the ping command to test if it's working or online. And okay, we will be doing clear. You didn't specify a number, clear t. You didn't specify a real number, clear one. And then we can do clear a hundred, a thousand, and boom. Let's just test it out, clear ten, boom. So then we have one, two, three, four, five. So we want to do clear. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We want to clear up to this hello. So we would do, we would do clear five. However, when we send this clear message, the um, the bot that's clearing it it counts this message as well. So we would want to do clear six, and see, because this command right here. Actually, no, no, it'll just be easier if I just do this clear. That gets counted as the message. So say we have one, two, three, four, five. Doing clear five would only get us to the one instead of five. And then we do in the clear six would get us all the way to this clear would delete all those numbers. So yeah, that's just basically how to code the Discord bot. With a couple more commands, we have the clear command, of course, and the say command. Next video, comment down below if I should do either embeds or setting the bot status. Like, for example, I'm uh, pretending to listen to Spotify. 
I'm actually playing Visual Studio Code, but like, so setting a bot status. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching this video. Of course, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, please. And I actually got 120 subscribers. I never would have thought that I would have reached 100. Mind blown. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Cringe out.